We are doing gourmet on the Redneck Riviera, and you're invited. We're in North Myrtle Beach at Sea Blue. And this is five-star stuff we tried for you just before the tourist season. We got Chef Kenneth Norcutt's promotional menu. It's a culinary journey of, of what he's offering for the evening. Our deep operative was our waiter, Patrick. First, the amuse-bouche gave us a glimpse of what was ahead. This was a cremini mushroom bisque. It's finished with a fresh local micro arugula emulsion, as well as black garlic puree. Wow. And, and why did the chef start with this? Well, it's just something to uh, tantalize the palate, to awaken the palate, uh, you know, get you excited for the courses to come. And excited we were with this scallop from up north that we had a little fun with. Okay, Patrick, tell us what we have here. <laughs> this is a uh, Massachusetts diver sea scallop. Uh, chef has seared off for you. It's presented, uh, actually, you know, beautiful play on surf and turf here. This is a uh, smoked Nooski's bacon, applewood smoked bacon, goat cheese, and celery root puree. Oh, and then there's two sauces at play here. Um, we have a house infused porcini mushroom oil. And the darker sauce is called Saba Mastacoto. And this sauce has been around for uh, hundreds of years out of Italy, cooked grape musk reduction. Mm. Locally grown micro Italian parsley. Nice description. Now, uh, you got Massachusetts scallops? Correct. You know, you are in the south here. <laughs> <laughs> Well, and uh, the Patriots are playing on Sunday. You will, you will experience some local uh, fish tonight. That is our, our surprise yet to come. Uh, however, you, you cannot compete with uh, Maine lobster tails and, and cold water diver sea scallops as there is uh, no better, uh, you know, sweeter uh, seafood on the planet. It's paired with uh, Seminet Blanc de Blanc. Oh, talk about this. Yeah. This is a sparkling 100% Chardonnay out of France. Well, and why, why would you choose this with this? I mean, I think it's pretty apparent, it but go ahead and tell me. Yeah, bubbles go with every occasion, especially seafood. So uh, beautiful, crisp city uh, with this. We'll uh, cleanse the palate uh, with the rich flavors. Wonderful. And cleanse it, it did. Just in time for this pièce de résistance, which might have been the best of the best of the night. All right, what we have here is a day boat, North Carolina, black grouper. Okay, when it comes to species of grouper, black is the highest quality uh, in our waters on this market. It's a bigger grouper, 50 pound fish, uh, which the chef broke down in-house. So ultra fresh, again, day boat, just a single day of fishing trip. And then it makes its way to us. Uh, chef has lightly bronzed uh, the filet for beautiful color and paired it with a locally grown micro herb or blanc sauce. Beautiful herb, Bear Blanc, along with a little sautéed arrow couvert. It was perfectly paired with an Oregon Chardonnay with light oak and butter. Go ahead. This is a Willamette Valley, Oregon uh, Chardonnay. So when you think of a Willamette, it's very similar uh, to in soil and climate uh, to uh, Burgundy, France, where a Chardonnay certainly grows the best. This is a nice uh, old world style Chardonnay with light oak, beautifully balanced and is the, the epitome of uh, the perfect wine to go with a Bur Blanc sauce. Even the palate cleanser was spectacular. Uh, we have a sour Bing cherry sorbet, oh and it is finished with Flor de Sel, uh, French flower of the sea, sea salt. You, you just went through three uh, savory courses, and so uh, you have the, the main course, the, the grand finale coming up next. And what an entrance in fine French style. Uh, main course tonight is Chateau Brion. Beautiful Chateau Brion. Chef has finished with a port wine demi glace. Mm -hmm. We have a little charred asparagus here. And then our signature potato, which we alluded to, is our Asiago potato gratin. Oh, it is. And how is that, how is that prepared? You know, it's, it, the potatoes are sliced down on a mandolin and layered with Asiago cheese. Uh, it is then baked and then cut into triangles and the uh, chef will saute it on all sides to order. We got the Behringer over here. The, the Behringer. Block. That is smooth. Beautiful. It, not a lot of tannins in it though. Uh, no, no, this is, uh, you know, coming out of nice uh, ripe 
California. So it is a, it is a Ameri- very, what we would call American <laughs> yep. drinking wine. Uh, New World, so it is very gentle and, and fruit forward. This is a Napa Valley Cabernet Sauvignon. Uh, delicate wine you know, with, with a yeah. cut of delicate uh, beef tenderloin here. And the dessert where we prayed for a healthy outcome. There's no calories in this either, right? <laughs> Calorie free, for sure. <laughs> uh, made in house, fresh vanilla bean bread pudding. Oh, oh fresh my vanilla God. Bean bread pudding finished with a vanilla chocolate chip gelato <laughs> and chocolate ganache. Wow. Now this works really well on the keto and the gluten-free diet, correct? <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. You and got the it. sugar-free one. <laughs> yeah. All the above. And the dessert is paired with Founders Reserve Sandeman Port Wine. I think he's uh, playing on the chocolate here. I think it's kind of the yin and yang of flavors, if you will. So you have the, the fresh vanilla bean and then and, and the, the contrast. Good. There are some chocolate notes in this port wine. Now, usually, port is the finish, but we had to get a dessert cocktail, of course, which was so good, it was nearly finished before Patrick's final debriefing. So we call this our, our signature Godiva a chocolate espresso martini. And so uh, what makes this a great drink is there is no mixer in this. It's actually uh, just four different uh, types of alcohol. And in here we have a chocolate vodka. We have Kahlua, we have Godiva chocolate liqueur, and it is finished with uh, Bailey's almond. Oh. Bailey's with almond I'm milk. Gonna, 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 gonna. Now this was a foodie feast only available in January, but don't fret. Now what you experienced tonight was a, a promotional uh, experience for the month of January. Mm-hmm. We call it restaurant month uh, to drum up some business uh, locally here in Myrtle Beach. Uh, however, on, on the menu, we do have Chef's 8-course a tasting dinner year-round. Coming to Myrtle Beach to golf? Don't leave your gourmet palate at home or on the links. Keep it here with us for more golf and gourmet.